So go ahead, any more stories on the uh, on Reggie Crow and stuff like that you got up to in the Nick? All right, uh, let me think. Yeah, one day, I worked in the laundry. I got a job in the laundry for a reason. And where was your Parkhurst? Yeah. Yeah. That's one step away from Broadmoor, Dad, isn't it? It is. Why is that? Because you're a nuisance. <laughs> what, because they can't control you in the prison system? That's right. Okay. So, and Broadmoor was uh, a mental hospital, right? Yes. Okay, so what did they think? He was mental. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> okay, go on, go ahead. You worked in the laundry. I got a job in the laundry for a reason. Me being a bit of an electrician, you had to climb this ladder about 30 foot up into the hole in the roof. Yeah. And up there was the big, massive septic tank that used to feed all the washing machines. Okay. And every morning, they had two relay switches and I had to go up there and sight up. The screws wouldn't go up there, health and safety. All, I was the only one who would do it. But I got extra 50p a week for doing it. <laughs> 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 anyway, it was a good thing because we, all the gallons of oats we used to make was all heated on around my um, subject tank. And, and for the viewers, the viewers are abroad and that, what, what's hooch? Ooch is made up drink. What? Food. Alcohol, yeah? Alcohol, yeah. yeah. What you do, you get a gallon container. Yeah. You put two pounds of sugar in it. Yeah. You put a matchbox full of yeast in it. Yeah. Where's the yeast come from? The kitchen, from the boys who bake the bread and all the rest of it. Okay. So we'd have a deal and they'd bring the yeast over, blah, blah, blah. Put that all in a container, fill it up with water, put it on the hot pipes and leave it for three weeks and it ferments and it becomes a nice booze. Right, okay. What you do, I used to do, we chop up potatoes yeah. in little squares, put that in, the water, the sugar, the yeast, and it used to come out like milky vodka. Right, okay. After three weeks. So anyway, and every weekend, Wheel the seats over to the wing from the laundry, and that's how the oats used to get from the laundry to the wing. Okay. Anyway, Reg used to have three gallons off me every week. Reggie Cry? Yeah. And my firm had a couple for the weekend, and blah, blah, blah. Nice little earner. Cut long story short, <laughs> Reg gave me a tug, he went, how many Gallons you got down, George. I went, nothing to do with you, Red. Why? He said, well, it's my birthday this week. He said, no, I want about eight gallons. I said, well, how are you going to do that? He said, well, I'm going to have two in this cell, one down that, one down that, one over there. Blah, blah. So he's got four cells, all with a tea urn in it, with going hooch. to be full of hooch. Okay. So that's the deal. That's what happened. So now, like, there's four parties going on in the wing. Yeah. Nine o'clock comes, the screws don't say a word, but just want a quiet life, they don't want the lid to go off the place. Yeah. Anyway, f five to nine or so, the door opens in my Peter, and it's the PO, principal officer at the wing, and he put his head, he went, Sarge, can I have a word? He said, Why do they call you Sarge? Because I, I'm an organiser, I to organise things and all the rest of it. Okay and uh, problems and whatever. So he went, how am I going to get them all banged up? I went, just leave it to me. So anyway, I went out. I went, lads, start petering out. And you, the lads start coming out now, get their water to bang up. They know it's nine o'clock coming up. But they're having a chat and all that. And the blokes walking around with jugs of hooch in their hand. It was fucking pandemonium. Anyway, all of a sudden, Reg has come out of this other cell down the bottom with his mind on, blah, blah, blah. I'm on the bridge over the top of the, in the wing, you've got f four floors. Yeah. On every floor, you've got a bridge. Yeah. And across. So I stood on the bridge and I've gone, B wing! Everyone stopped, looked up, I went, Happy birthday to you. And I had the wing singing happy birthday to Reggie Quay. <laughs> I swear on my mother's deathbed, that's the truth. 
Even the screws are singing it. <laughs> when it finished, I went, no hassle, boys, let's bang up. Bang, 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 it was done and dusted. Wow. <laughs> what a party that must have been in the middle of the bar cast with it was, that. It was a night out. It was brilliant. Was it? Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Dad. <laughs> thanks for the amazing stories. I'm sure we'll hear more soon.